All right, so I just finished setting this thing up and mm, it looks so good. It looks way better than I thought. You let me know if you think it's too big for my desk though, but here it is, check it out. Come on now. Hey yo, what's going on everyone? Nathan here. So recently I picked up my first monitor as you can see back there. And so I put a lot of research into this because I wanted the right one specifically for video editing and productivity. And so after a lot of research, I ended up going with the LG 27 UN 850 ultra fine monitor. So by no means am I claiming to be any sort of expert in monitors, but as someone who does edit 4K video, I do have an idea as to what I wanted in a monitor, which I believe will work well with most content creators out there. So after using this monitor for a little while now, this is probably the best 4K monitor that you can buy in 2022 for under $500, and here's why. Unboxing this monitor is pretty standard and you get a good amount of accessories with it. Inside, you'll find a 140 watt power brick with a detachable power cable. You get HDMI and USB-C cables, a clip for cable management down the monitor, the base of the stand, the stand itself, and underneath all this is where you find the monitor. So I do wanna put it out there, LG does sell this exact monitor in two different variants. One with the stand that I have here for a little bit cheaper, which goes for $480, but it can also be found on sale quite frequently. Or if you want a monitor arm and that's like what you're in the market for, they do sell that, but that is upwards of $600. So if you really want the monitor arm, you can get a variant with it inside the box already there. But either way, both of them will work with a vase mount if you wanna put it on your wall and that's 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So in the future, I do plan on getting a monitor arm for my setup, but right now with the desks that are offered in my dorm, they just can't support a monitor arm. So I'm stuck with the, the stand that comes with this, but I actually do genuinely like it a lot. This stand is made out of great materials. It feels very sturdy and it has all height, tilt and pivot adjustments. So the setup process is straightforward and easy. First, you take the base of the stand and you attach it to the arm and on the bottom of the base, you'll find a screw that you're able to hand tighten. Then for attaching the monitor itself, I do highly recommend you getting someone to help you out a little bit. It's not impossible to do by yourself as you'll see from the B-roll here, but it is a little bit like nerve wracking, especially with a brand new monitor. And it's just not quite the easiest because this monitor is actually pretty big. So to mount the monitor to the stand, you're gonna wanna line up the bottom connection points to the mounting plate itself, and then you just kind of tilt the monitor upwards, and you'll hear a loud click when it does get in place, so it's very obvious when you actually secure it onto the stand. So there are no specific directions as to how to adjust the stand, and there's like nothing to like tighten or loosen down, so when I first got it, I was kind of confused, but all you have to do is just apply a little bit of pressure in any direction, either the pivot, the height, or the tilt, and it will eventually move in that direction, so don't worry about breaking it. It will move, it's just very well balanced to hold the weight of the monitor for the specific one, so just keep that in mind. This monitor has a maximum height of 22 inches and a minimum height of 17.7 inches when you either fully extend or compress the stand. If you wanna remove the monitor from the stand, all you have to do is push the button below where it actually attaches to the stand and then this will release it. So overall, I really do like the stand that comes with this. Again, it's very well built. It looks very modern and sleek. And if you don't wanna spend the extra money for that monitor arm, then I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with this stand just like I was. Moving on to the display, the display on this monitor is gorgeous. This has a 27 inch 4K IPS display with an aspect ratio of 16 by nine, which is typical for the majority of displays out there. And it has very thin borders all the way around the screen with a small chin on the bottom with LG's logo in the middle. The IPS panel means it has very accurate colors at 99% with sRGB 
and it also has great viewing angles. So this is one of the main reasons why I went with this monitor was because I wanted very accurate colors when it comes to video and photo editing. And so this 99% with the sRGB and this IPS panel were really intriguing to me. This also comes pre-calibrated, so it should be good to go right out of the box but you can always recalibrate yourself later on if you wanted to. This monitor has a screen resolution of 3840 by 2160 and has 163 pixels per inch. So it is really sharp for the overall size, especially for a 27 inch panel. So unfortunately at this price point, you do have to lose out on some of the top of the end features. You can't have it all at this. And one of those areas where LG decided to not implement into this monitor is having a higher refresh rate. So this monitor is stuck at 60 Hertz, which I would say is very standard for 2022. But if you were looking for a high refresh rate, 90, 120 or above that for gaming, then you're gonna have to definitely look somewhere else because with this monitor, you're stuck at a maximum of 60 Hertz, which is plenty good for your typical content creator or consumer out there. But again, if you want that high refresh rate for gaming, then this might not be the monitor for you. This monitor has a max brightness of 350 nits but it can be extended to 400 nits of peak brightness with HDR content. The 350 nits should be fine for the majority of desk setups out there, and you shouldn't have any problems unless your monitor is right next to a window with a bright sunny day. I personally leave my brightness at 50%, and I don't really ever go over that, maybe 60% maybe 70% on like a super bright day, but I've never gone above that. But to also help with glare, if that's a problem that you're worried about, then this monitor also does have 3H anti-glare coating to reduce glares from external light sources, which is always a welcome addition. It does a nice job at softening glares and doesn't take away from the clarity of the display. So there are also a few ports on the back of this monitor. There are two HDMI ports, one display port, which is USB-C, two USB-A ports, a headphone jack, USB downstream, and the power source. So this is nothing crazy, and I do wish that there were a few more USB-C ports as that would be very helpful, but this is definitely enough to get you going. The monitor also has two five watt speakers inside of it that are decent at best. So I'm sure that most people know that monitor speakers are never the best unless you're purchasing like a Apple studio display, which is like three times the price of this. But besides that, most monitors definitely do need like external speakers to help bring out the audio that you want. But I recommend getting any set of dual speakers to go along with this monitor because the sound does appear to be directed away from you and they're just not quite the best. I personally have the Edifier R1280DB speakers, which I got about three years ago and they still work really well, but they're probably definitely too big for my desk setup. As you can see here, they're like hanging off the edge, but who knows, like they're all I have right now, so I'm just gonna stick with them. The only physical button on this display is found on the underside right below the LG logo and this can be pressed or moved in one of four different directions at a time. Pushing the button will turn the monitor on and holding it down will turn it off. Moving the button left or right will turn the volume up or down. Pushing it towards you will open up the accessibility window and here I highly recommend turning off the beeps. It comes with like beeps turned on by default and they're super annoying. So like any sort of thing that you do with that button, it just beeps at you. Turning it off, it like multi beeps at you. Just. <laughs> definitely go into there and turn that setting off. I'm telling you, you're gonna thank me later. Pushing the button in once as it's already turned on will allow you to go to the settings and here you can adjust the brightness, contrast, and temperature of the display. And you can also change the input of the monitor as well as switch between different picture modes. And also if you want to, you can download this free software from LG's website called On Screen Control and this will give you digital access to moving windows to set places on the display. I don't find this to be that helpful for me and it kind of leaves like an ugly toggle at the top of the menu bar. So I'll probably just uninstall it eventually, but if it's something that like you will use, then you can use it and it's also free, so why not download it? So my personal experience using this monitor for both video and photo editing, as well as just other productivity and school related content is that this has been awesome for me. I love having a monitor that's like nice and big. It's 27 inches, so it definitely like fills up like my whole like point of view right in front of me. 
I think that the 4K display is gorgeous, and just the fact that how accurate the colors are makes me not have to question or doubt my work as I'm color grading or adjusting brightness in my videos and photos. So, so far for like everything that I've had to use it for, I'm a big fan of it. It looks super clean as well, and I don't think you can go wrong with the price. So overall, for a monitor that costs $480 and can be found on sale quite frequently for even less than that, the LG 27UN850 Ultra Fine Monitor has pretty much everything that a serious content creator can ask for without breaking the bank. You're getting a modern bezel-less design with a beautiful 4K 27-inch display and a matte coating on it. You're getting a monitor that is bright enough for most workspaces, supports HDR content, has a very well-built stand, and I would say passable speakers. So I mean, come on, you can't get much better than that. So if you're interested in picking up this monitor for yourself or the one with the ergo stand, then I'll link both of them down below in the description so you can easily locate them. So with that being said, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe. And as always, have a great day everyone and cheers.